What's going on guys, Omahe, and I'm back with another on-camera monitor from OC. This is the T5 5.5 inch on-camera monitor. I got a lot to share with you, but first, let's run the Gearbox intro. This monitor has no buttons at all, unlike the other monitors. It got a joystick thumb instead to control everything. And you can load your own lots of presets via SD card and it also got a headphone jack here at the bottom. And you can power your camera dummy battery through a DC port here inside. So the camera get the power from the monitor battery. Here I got Sony A7 III running on a dummy battery powered by the monitor. Another thing that caught my eyes is that both the DC and HDMI ports are secured here inside. So when you plug that in, they are locked here inside and feels more secured. I found the power switch button is also interesting. It suits my ergonomic and feels easy to turn it on just like this. What do you think? The monitor bracket has a hot shoe mount adapter like any other monitor, if you like to use a wireless transmitter or a small LED light in there. The T5 monitor runs on Sony MPF or Canon LPE6 batteries. So when testing the OC T5 monitor, it sounds quiet with no fan noise. OC T5 is an entry-level monitor with a lot of pros and smart features. Comes at 200 US dollars which I believe it's a great price for what the monitor is capable of. Alright, I will turn this guy on and show you the manual layout. So let's play with the joystick button first. I need to show you what this thing does because it's really nice. The menu is pretty simple and customizable. But first, you get a 200% zoom if you push the joystick up and up to 400% zoom when you push it up again. And to adjust the zoom position, click the joystick button, then move it up, right, left or down. And push it down again if you need to adjust the monitor backlight value. So OC made the menu as a dashboard, so you can add shortcuts of the tool you need. Here for example, I'm adding a new tool, and let's pick up false color. It shows up here on the right side menu and I can adjust these settings as well. In false color mode you find about 16 pages of color curves and it can be chosen according to the brand of your camera. From Sony logs to Canon, Panasonic, Arri and RED. Let's add another one. Add a new tool. And that's gonna be waveform. Let's pick up this guy, and here you can change the graph position. It could be top right, or maybe you like it at the bottom. Opacity is also adjustable. Those three features make the monitor unique. Let's add another tool. And maybe audio meter. Turn it on and position it to the bottom left. So here, basically you build up the tools you like and the ones you need the most. Very interesting, I really like it. And if you want to remove a tool you added earlier, jump to the bin icon at the bottom and delete the tool you want. Let's delete this one. Confirm. Yeah, I need to remove it. And the tool has been removed. As you see guys, the monitor features. Focus assist, focus peaking, vector scope, waveform, histogram, zebra, force color and other settings like grid center mark, safe area marks, and aspect ratio. Additionally, you can add multiple layouts in the monitor. Here we have setup one, it's showing here at the bottom left corner. Hold the joystick three seconds to the right in order to add additional setups. Add a new setup, and we got another setup here that can have different tools. So now you can switch between setups by pushing the joystick left, instead of being limited on a couple of buttons like other monitors. Note, if you want to change the motor settings, hold the joystick 3 seconds to the left and it shows up the settings menu, where you can also update the framework and load your LUT presets. 
The T5 monitor has built-in lots for different cameras, Arri, Sony, Canon, Phantom 4, Panasonic, Fuji, and RAT cameras. You can also add your own lots preset. Use 32GB card to load lots of preset. 128GB card seems to be not compatible. I don't have 64 gig, so I'm not sure if that works as well. So first of all, go to the monitor settings by holding the joystick to the right for 3 seconds. Scroll down to load lots files. Execute. Wait for a second and click on user lots. Choose drive C and head to the folder you have. Let's pick up this one and save it in user 1. It takes about 10 seconds, but the job is achieved. And you find the lots in the user menu. So when you flip the T5 monitor to the opposite side to show someone else the frame, the monitor will flip automatically and maintain a good view. The body made out of plastic, it's not my taste, but feels fine. The T5 monitor weighs about 160 grams, 5.7 ounces, and with the bracket and a small MPF battery, it goes to 11.7 ounces, 332 grams. We got a foldable sun hood, that's for better viewing out there in the harsh sunlight. The T5 monitor has 450 nits of brightness, so make sure to put the sun hood on when running under heavy sunlight. Since the monitor is lightweight, it's perfect to mount it on gimbals and run the setup for the whole day. Bear in mind you need an extension or the magic arm does the job. OC also provides 3 HDMI cables. Micro and mini HDMI cable for the SLR and mirrorless cameras as well. Alright, that's all we got here. Thank you for watching guys and hit the like button if you find this very helpful and let me know what you think in the comment section down below. And on this channel, we make camera gear and filmmaking gear reviews. So if you are new here, consider subscribing for more. This was Omar and see you in another one.